What's up guys, I'm back. Um, I am at a house that is currently being renovated. I want to guys give you a update on where we are currently. So yeah, um, and I also have to pay a couple of people um, for the work that they have done. So I hope you guys can join me and um, I hope you enjoy the video. So just to kind of show you guys, so this is the stuff that I have to do. So um, I wind up, so, so far I spent about um, close to $10,000 on the renovation. Um, so hopefully we'll still stay within the budget about 15, uh, cause I still have a couple of things to do, but yeah. So today's payday guys. So, but yeah, so I just want to kind of show you this, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, but yeah, so let's, let's go inside and see what has been done. Oh. Oh. So I am in one of the bedrooms currently and I will let me guys give you a walkthrough. So looks like we are pretty much quite along. Um, so we got the paint on, um, trim, and looks like the first coat for the floor has been done. So today is the final coat that will be applied. So that's pretty much it for then. So as you see, now it's all nice and neat all the way throughout. Um, right, that carpet was removed. And you get these beautiful hardwood floors through, throughout. We still need to do the kitchen that's still on our agenda um, outside we did some grading uh, we also raised that AC off the ground and just because we added all that um, mulch for water retention on the sand um, outside of the house is also painted guys so pretty much all of that so i'm going to take you down to the basement so this is the path to the basement through the garage and i will show you where we are down here so everything is tidied as you see um there's still stuff that needs to be thrown away, trash. Uh, we They have started on framing throughout the basement. So this is gonna be a finished basement, which again, will add to the square footage, will add, will add value to the home and all that fun stuff. Um, so, you know, adding, adding a bathroom, finishing the basement, adding the square footage for about uh you know it, it hopefully will will add to the add to the investment guys um uh, to the desirability of the home all that and then if i wind up selling it down the road it's probably gonna bring a higher price so it's it's always a good investment to finish the basement if you can um so but yeah so this is where we are um, the ceilings we still have to tidy up probably run some electrical uh, you know make, make some put some lights or something but but yeah so pretty much after today um, the upstairs besides the kitchen should be done um, and then we'll just focus on the basement. So we do still have to, again, once we wall it off, 
we have to put in the carpet and all that but yeah this is going to be really 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 nice so again hopefully the budget is about fifteen thousand to get everything done um we'll see what it looks like once everything is set and done um So the beauty of that is that once once the basement is finished, it's gonna add six, seven hundred square feet um, to the overall square footage, bringing it close to about two thousand square feet. Um, house next door with about twenty two hundred square feet sold for about two twenty nine. So you know me buying this for about a hundred, finishing the basement. Uh, you know it'll probably be 160 170 so and finishing the basement so that's why i love having homes that don't have a finished basement because uh, yes it takes money up front but you're going to get it on the back so uh but again i just want to guys to give you a heads up uh floors have been done so they're nice and coated it's getting they're getting dried so by tomorrow they should be dried and done so we'll have hardwood floors all finished and looking nice but yeah, so again, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, let me know uh, what you guys think. Um, and again, thanks for all the support. Um, and see you guys all next time.